So I am somebody who has always been told that I have a bag problem, and it's true, I, I do. I like things to put my things in. I like backpacks, carrying cases, all the things. If I can carry it on my shoulder or on my back and it holds a bunch of stuff, I'm into it. I like backpacks, you know, you guys know I do, a, I do a what's in my bag video every year. That's coming up, but today, we are gonna look at this pile right beside me. I have nine Nintendo Switch bags in different sizes. We've got some very small, we've got some very big that are gonna carry just about everything. But this is what I would consider the best of the best of what I have here. And uh, spoiler alert, a lot of it is Tom Talk. What's up guys, welcome back or welcome in for the first time. Do me a favor, jump down in the description of this video and click the link over to our podcast. We finally just got the ability to have members on that channel. We are going to be doing private members only podcasts. Right now it will start as one extra one a month that you will get, but later on we will probably be moving to one extra a week. So that is definitely going to be worth the memberships. Obviously we're gonna have other stuff with that too and it helps us support the podcast and what we do over there. So click the link down there below, check out the podcast, subscribe if you're not. Let's jump into these bags. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the smaller ones first. I'll start with the slim cases. Now, slim case number one is not from Tom Talk. You probably thought I was going to Tom Talk, but I'm not, not first. This one is actually from Skull & Co. And I do really like these for one main reason. This case is made with this grip in mind. So if you have this grip, the Neo grip or the, uh, the crystal case, and you have the smaller of the grips attached, this case is actually meant to be able to hold that. It actually is slightly, slightly oversized and a little bit deeper right here. So you can fit this thing in there and it goes in perfect. Fits in there, absolutely no problem whatsoever. It's made of really nice materials. It's actually pretty close to what the Tom Talk ones are. You guys know I love the Tom Talk ones. We'll get to that one in a second. But this one is actually made for the grip that I use every single day. So that is nice. It does have a little carrying strap here. It's got a pretty nice zipper. I don't know exactly what colors this comes in. I do know it comes in camo, and I think blue. It might come in black too. I guess it would probably come in black. It comes in black, right? Anyway, it's gotta come in black, it does. So I think you can get it in three colors. I'm gonna have links to all this stuff down below as well. Some of the links are going to be Amazon affiliate links. Some of them will be uh, Skull & Co links. You can actually get 10% off if you use my code DRIPMEDIA at checkout at skullandco.com. All that information will be down there. But this is a good case. I do like this, but this is not the one I'm currently using. And there's, there's a reason for that. Everybody knows Tears of the Kingdom just came out. It's great. We've got the uh, Tears of the Kingdom OLED switch, which I have here. And I do have Skull & Co's Neo Grip that goes with the Zelda OLED. I love it. But Tom Talk has just put out something very special and it is their slim case. I think this is now called the Fancy Case. They are a little bit different than the older ones, but this one is the Zelda inspired. And just look at that thing. Just look at that thing. Now Tom Talk, they make great stuff. They are a sponsor of the podcast. They've sponsored this channel. They are not the sponsor of this video, but there are links to get this stuff down below. Uh, YKK zippers, great material. This thing is so nice and I do absolutely love the design on this one in particular. Uh, now this one is not made for the Neo Grip, obviously. This one's made for just the Switch, but you can fit this in the case. It is a little bit tight, but I use it like this all the time, it's totally fine, it fits, not a problem. This is basically what I'm using all the time. No matter where I'm going or what I'm doing, usually my switch is in this case, it might be in another bag as well, which we'll, we'll get to some of that stuff, but this is basically my go-to right now. Not only because it looks great and it matches my switch, their slim cases are just what I've used basically since I got my first one. They're, they're the best when it comes to slim cases. I really, really do like these. Now, I wanna move on from the slim cases to something a little bit bigger. Now, if you're just traveling with your switch, Slim cases are fine, but you may need a little extra storage. You may need something with a little bit more room, and that is where these are gonna come in. The first one we're gonna look at is this Tom Talk bag. I am just realizing now that I don't remember what this is called, but I will link another video down below. I have a video on all these new Tom Talk bags, the, this one, another one that we're gonna go over in this video, and there's actually two more in their series that, that kind of do the same things that this one does. These are really nice. I use this one for more than just my Switch. If I'm going to the movies, usually 
I go down and buy the Sour Patch Kids at the grocery store. Because when you buy them at the grocery store, they cost a dollar. When you buy them at the movie theater, they cost seven dollars. And who wants to pay seven dollars for Sour Patch Kids? I can tell you who. Nobody. That's the answer to that question. Nobody wants to pay seven dollars for Sour Patch Kids. So, this is usually what I sneak those into the movie with. But, inside of this, it is basically made for the Nintendo Switch. Obviously, you can use it for other things. It's made for the Switch. It's got all these special cutouts here. As you can see, I'm probably going to show you some better shots. You guys know you'll see some better stuff. But this little pouch here kind of opens up. The Switch goes down in, and then it kind of closes back onto itself. As you can see here, you kind of just flip the edges out. It keeps the sticks down in there nice and neat. And the switch is set in the back, and you have all this room up front. You could fit a pro controller in here. You could fit probably maybe two pro controllers. I, like I said, I have a video on all these where I go into depth. We have a lot of stuff to cover. So I'm not gonna go super in depth on all these, but this is a really nice bag. It also has, hang on one second. It also has this. Uh, this is a place you can keep your cartridges. It has a little slot, especially for this thing, right down there. You just kind of. Slide it down in there, and it's out of the way. You still have all the same amount of room. This is a very nice bag. Probably one of my favorites. It's got, you know, the shoulder straps, so you can just kind of throw it over your back. It's perfect for really going anywhere. If you need to take a charger with you, anything small, you're going to be able to fit it in here. But there are a few other options at this size I wanted to show you. This is a bag I just got in the mail from Kiwi, and this is a very interesting bag. Now, Kiwi is not a new brand. They've been around, they're, they're doing their stuff in other places, but this is their first gaming bag. They reached out to me. Uh, we're, we're gonna do a couple videos with this thing, but this this is a very nice bag. Now, I wanna go over the top here. We have another strap here that you can connect here if you wanna just kinda carry it like that. You can do that. We're not gonna use that right now, but look at the inside of this thing. The inside of this thing, has these little padded, I don't even know what to call these things. They're like, it's like bubble wrap almost. It's very, very padded in here. The bottom's padded, but this isn't even where your Nintendo Switch goes. You can pull these things up. You've got a bunch of room in there. You can fit a Pro Controller. They actually sent me a few other things, which I'm gonna show you guys some pictures of here, but they are a little like flat, curved. I don't know exactly what they're called, but the problem with those right now is I have lost them. I'm afraid that they went into the box that this came in and they may have got thrown away. I really hope that's not the case because they were super cool. I'm gonna keep looking for them, but uh, you can put your Pro Controller inside and it's got like a little cover over top that protects the Pro Controller and it's good for a lot of other things too, like camera lenses. I can totally fit my camera and probably two lenses in this bag, but here's where, where this is very, very cool. On the underneath part of this bag, it's got its own area for the Nintendo Switch. So you can unzip it right here. It opens up. You see this here? It's got it's got some cutouts right there so your sticks can actually lay in there and not get harmed. It is super padded. I mean, this thing is nothing's happening to your Switch in there. It's fine. But this one does have a little little bit of a trick as well that I really like. If you look right here, it does have the same uh, cartridge holders that's pretty nice that goes right in there but it's got these little flaps right here and what those are for is so you can set this on your lap but you can use this as a kickstand it kind of goes back into the bag a little bit as you can see here it's got three different angles this is really cool now the OLED has a nice kickstand so you know you really don't need this for the OLED but it is nice to have especially maybe you're in a car and you don't have a place to set it up in tabletop mode this is gonna come in handy because when you set this on your lap, this thing is in there. It just stays. It's honestly very cool. I mean, it, it's it's in there really good as you can see too. So this is also a very good option. Just like the other Tom Talk one, this is very nice. But let's say you need just a little bit more room. You want you want to carry, you know, not not a bunch of stuff, but you need a little bit more room. I've got another Tom Talk bag here. I want to show you. This is one I've been using. This is one I've been using a lot. This is Tom Talk Sling Bag. And I actually have a bunch of other stuff in here. This is another Tom Talk bag I use. We'll be seeing that in the what's in my bag video. Anyway, as you can see here inside this thing, it's got all kinds of different pockets. It's got a pocket here. It's got a zipper pocket here. It's got a pocket here. It's got a zipper pocket here. It's got another place back here where you can put a tablet or 
your Nintendo Switch. And if you want to put it in a case like this, that fits down in there perfectly. This bag has one strap, so you can actually connect it to either side depending on what shoulder you want to put it on or if you want to, you know, do a little cross body, you can do that. I love this bag. This is one I've been using a lot, especially if I am taking a little bit more with me out, if I need to maybe take camera, switch, maybe stuff for the kids, whatever I need to take. This is basically gonna let me be able to do that and take my switch, no problem. But let's say you're going on a trip and you need to take not only your Nintendo Switch, but you need to take your dock. You need to take everything you have. You need to take a full Switch setup, basically everything that comes in the box and more. I've got a few options for you here. Now we've got four here, so I'm gonna run through these kinda quickly. First one is from Tom Talk. This goes in the series of the other bags that I was just showing you, this one, this one, this is a big version of the littler one I just showed you. So this one does have a place to put your switch, but it's got another couple layers as you can see here. It's got another couple layers. So you can get your switch back here. Switch goes right there. And then in this front one here, as you can see, I'll have better shots of this. And again, full video on this link below if you really wanna know all the details about this, but it's got another place for the dock. It's got a place for a pro control. This will fit everything that you got with your Nintendo Switch. Two controllers, cables, everything with room to spare. This bag is really, really nice. It's set up nice. Everything sits in there very, very nicely. It's padded. You don't have to worry about anything happening to the stuff inside of there. This one actually has two of those game cartridge holders too, so that's nice. There's a lot of, lot of storage in a bag like this, but Let's say, let's say you need a little bit more storage. I'm gonna show you guys an older one. I don't even know if you can get this. I'm gonna look and see if they still sell this thing. I hope they do. If not, you may be able to find it on eBay or something like that. I made a video about this bag a long, long time ago, but it is a very, very good carrying case. The problem with that video was, I got in the comments a lot, is I didn't show the inside of it a lot. And I wanna, I wanna address that right now. There's nothing on the inside to show. It's fully modular, so you can do whatever you want. It's empty. It's got Velcro dividers that you can put in any any way you want, but I'll show you a little bit more of the inside here. It is this bag from PDP. As I said, I have a full video on this as well. There will be links to that. You know what I'll do? I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a playlist. I will make a playlist and I'll link that at the end with all these videos in it. That's, that's what we're gonna do. So, the inside of this bag, as you can see, there are dividers. You can put your cables, you can put your dock, you can put everything that comes with your Switch plus a Pro Controller inside of this bag. You're gonna make room for the cables, everything. There's a little, there's a little pouch right here, so you, you got little small things, you can put those right there. But the cool thing about this is the Switch itself actually goes on the top. And I have to be honest, I've never put an OLED in this, so we're gonna try that out right now. It's even got the Neo Grip on it. Let's see if it fits. I don't. I don't know if it's gonna fit. Oh, oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It fits. Yeah, it does fit. So you can see here, it straps in. It sits right there. You pull the top on here. Zip it up. But this is the very cool thing about this bag. Let's say you get to where you're going, and you're you're done with all your dock and stuff. It's set up. You don't need this whole bag. And with this. It would kind of suck to have to take this and another case, but you don't because this case comes off of the top and now you can just take the Nintendo Switch with you. You can leave your dock in the big bulky bag back at the hotel, back at the Airbnb. And when you go out, all you gotta do is take this. It does have some places you can keep games. So this is, uh, this is a nice all-in-one solution. I think they do. I'm thinking about this now. I'm pretty sure they do make this bag. So I think you can get it uh, in like Mario themed and Zelda themed. I'm pretty sure it's from PDP. Again, I'll have the link to this below. I can't remember the actual name of it, but it is a very good bag. It's probably still one of my favorites, but let's say you need a little bit more protection and you want to make sure that all your stuff is going to be very, very safe on your way to wherever you're going. These last two are going to be the ones you want. The first one is another one from Tom Talk. This is kind of like that other one that we just looked at. That one is more of a soft shell case. This is a hard shell case. It's not fully like plastic. I mean, you can, uh, you can kind of bend it, but this one is going to have a space for absolutely everything. As you can see here, there's a 
place right here for a ton of game cartridges. You've got storage up here on the lid and everything has its own little cutout. You can put the dock, the switch, all your cables, the charger, Pro controller, Joy-Con grip with extra Joy-Cons right there. These are even the little slots for the, the little side things that go on the Joy-Cons when you're using them in handheld. Yeah, you can even put those in there. So this is very cool. This one, I like a lot. I gotta be honest though, there's not a lot of situations where I'm taking my dock places, so I don't use these bags a ton. I don't really do it. And there's one more I do wanna show you. It's got basically the same inside as that one but it's made, it's made by a different company. This one is actually a hard shell case. This one is going to, uh, this one's gonna stand up to just about anything. I don't have the inserts in there right now. I actually have a bunch of uh, Neo Grips in here. It is literally full of Neo Grips. And all, ow, ow. <laughs> okay, it's full of, this is full of Neo Grips right now. I have, I have a lot of Neo Grips. It's my, it's my favorite grip, if you can't tell. But the top is padded. It usually has an insert that looks exactly like that one from TomTalk. I think the top of it is red though. It looks slightly different, but it holds the same exact stuff. I'll have a link to these down below, but that is nine carrying cases for the Nintendo Switch. There are, uh, there are plenty more options out there. If you guys have some that you like that were not in this video, leave them down below in the comments. Let me know what they are. Maybe we'll take a look at them if I don't have them here. And if you use one of these, if you already have one, let me know which one you use down there as well. If you have any questions, leave those. But guys, that is going to do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like. Make sure you are subscribed. See you in the next one.